at 5.30. Tonight, rising fuel costs and driver shortages continue to impact the trucking industry. To attract more drivers, companies like Amazon and Walmart offer training programs and higher pay. Good evening, everyone. I'm David Andrews. And I'm Ann Emmerich. News 10's Tonight Jordan spoke to leaders at a local truck driving school to see how they're getting new drivers ready to hit the road. By 2030, the American Trucking Association says the trucking industry could see a shortage of 160,000 drivers. In St. John's, the Tri-Area Trucking School prepares drivers like Zachary Forcier to fill those positions. I have been in the program for two weeks. My first week was online, my second week was book work, and this is now my third week, which we are doing yard training, and that's maneuvers, you know, driving on the road, trying to get the experience that you need. To attract and keep new drivers, companies are offering incentives like higher pay and in-house training. The Tri-Area Trucking School wants to make sure their drivers are safe on the road, too. We've seen a lot of what not to do out there. Uh, so we're trying to prepare the next generation that wants to get into this industry to watch out for those kind of problem areas and people's tendencies around trucks. You know, they don't give you a lot of room sometimes. Despite the shortage, experts say the trucking industry is still the most reliable freight transportation in the U.S. The lead instructor at Tri-Area Trucking says they help drivers get jobs after completing their program. Learning how to drive different types of equipment, different trucks. We also offer hazmat classes um, to be able to get the endorsements on your CDL. There are certain things I never even knew how to do here with the trailer. You know, it's one of them is offset backing. It's definitely the biggest struggle here that I have. With the right instructors, Forcier says he's one step closer to help get more drivers on the road. In St. John's, Tanaya Jordan, News 10. Experts predict autonomous or self-driving trucks could replace about 500,000 long-haul jobs.